Hello, and he's from the lab of uh, Don Lang. And he's going to be talking about reservoir systems. Space. 
So you can see the eigenvalues decrease monotonically and uh, very fast. So we can just truncate these eigenvalues to some finite terms. Here are n terms, for example, you can just choose 20 terms. And in the, on the right hand side, you can see the eigenfunctions. These are the control plots for different modes. The, each of these eigenfunctions is corresponding to these eigenvalues. So you can see that each eigenfunction captures different fluctuations and different modes. So in that sense, we don't need to use all these eigenvalues. And we can just truncate, pick up some, you know, uh, the, deep, the, the most important modes and to, to represent our random field. So this uh, leads to the efficiency of this method. So what if we don't know the covariance function? For example, your output, your production, and we, we cannot use the KR expansion, so we introduce another expansion, which is called the polynomial chaos expansion. It can be expressed, it can be used to express any random variables and random forces. So look at this expression. All the A are determinist coefficients, and C is an independent random variable, and gamma are some orthogonal polynomial functions of these random variables. For example, if we are random variables are Gaussian, then this orthogonal function are Hermit orthogonal polynomials in multi-dimensional space. And if we have other you know, distributions, so generalized polynomial chaos expansions can be used to express your uh, output. So the objective is to solve these coefficients, uh, to discretize these uh, equations. There are two methods. The first one is the Gerakian scheme, which is a, a weighted residual method. It leads to couple equations for your coefficients. So it's not efficient to solve. And another one is the collocation method. This method leads to uh, independent equations in, in the sense that you can just run your simulator independently and uh, the existing real simulators could be employed directly. This is uh, good news you know, because for different companies they use different real simulators. And uh, this method is non intrusive to your real simulator. So let's look at the least bit math in this method. So we, if we have a differential equation in this form, this is a stochastic differential equation. So your, the air is a differential operator in time and uh, field space. It could be linear or nonlinear, and f is the source term. So we approximate this, the output in this polynomial chaos expansion, as we mentioned before, because this, because this is an uh, approximation. So we define a residual of this differential operator. And the weighted residual method it means that the integration of a residual in the fit in the random space is equal to zero. So here uh, W is a weight function. So in Galpin scheme that you choose the uh, weight function as a basis function and it leads to these couple equations for your co coefficients. So it's difficult to solve. And in the collocation method, we just choose this weight function as a direct delta function at some specific location points. This is the CG are the location points. So this integration just leads to this residual equal to zero. It means that we can just solve this equation separately and use our uh, existing simulators 